Hello everyone and welcome to the final installment of Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. Today I'm going to tackle day 9, the final day in the city. I haven't done a practice run, but it's the city. I've been there before, I know where everything is, so let's get started. The thing to know about Day 9 is that it's chaotic like the other days because Gamal has taken to the streets with her army of statues and they kill everybody, even civilians, which the enforcers actually left alone, I realized. So, we will still clear everything in Day 9 with we're a thorough, faithful thief to the end. So we start off right at the starting point of the last mission inside this tunnel, so... Let's get the two explosive mines out of the chest. Let's get the copper knife on the barrel and the broadhead arrow on the crate down here in the tunnel. And let's head up out of here. There we go. Shut the grate behind me. And I, if I remember right, we get cut off with a scene right now. Artemis, what are you doing here? I have figured it all out, Garrett. The artifacts. Give them to me. I will show you all the answers. What do you mean, give them to you? Did you find Orland? What's wrong with you? Artemis. And Garrett. I'm glad that I caught up with you. I was... You were right, Artemis. I have lost my balance. Your words kept at me, nagging, even after you had gone. It was the glyphs. Their draw has been too powerful to us. Once we used them to be keepers of the city, but now what do we keep safe? An empty box, a book of blank pages. You speak nonsense, Orland. No, no, you were right. I've been refusing to see. The clock tower. I thought it pointed to me, but it meant all of us. Finally, I understand why the Glyph Prophecies can no longer see into the future. Return to the Library, Orland. Now is not the time. The Glyphs have become our keepers. We can no longer use them to protect our interests. We must tell Garrett the truth. My end. Garrett, what we told you. You are the one who must use the artifacts. That much is true. But you are not to destroy the final Glyph. No, you must... Uh But still, one step behind. Your keeper, Artemis, convenient to use his form to take the artifacts from you. His life, mine. Mine now, and yours. There. No! But no use hiding. A thousand eyes I have to spy after you. No use running, fleeing, a thousand legs at my bidding. I will prevail. I have lived years, decades, centuries. I will live forever. Alright. So we spawn out up here. The objective, when you have all the artifacts, meet Artemis in Tursus Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza is cancelled. I have to say I'm sad to see Artemis die. He's been with us since a Keeper's training way back at the beginning of Thief 1, and we didn't even get to see his death scene. Gamal killed him off screen. Oh well. <clears throat> Our new objectives. Place the heart on the Bradshaw Monument in the Aldale Plaza. Place the chalice on the Cataclysm Memorial in Fort Ironwood. Place the paw on the first landing marker in the docks. Place the crown in the storage area at the base of the clock tower in Stone Market proper. Lastly, place the eye on the fountain in South Quarter. That's it. Let's get moving. So Gamal's statues will kill everyone they see. And they'll always win, because we're the only... Us, with our Glyph of Unbinding, are the only person capable of destroying them. Anyway, got the gas arrow from up here. Quiet, 
I think he heard the landing when it spawned me in. I refuse to call that a bust. I mean, how lame would that be, right? Garrett failed at climbing the way I wanted him to that time. I'm going after the other gas arrow across from the museum. If you're wondering what I'm trying to do. Let's try this again, shall we? There we go. That's what I wanted. Then once we get up here, we can climb down onto the edge. There's Orland's corpse. He finally came around at the end and stopped being a jackass. Just in time to get murdered. Gamal is not here, as you can see. Gamal appears in every city hub in Day 9, and uh, she shows up wherever you're supposed to take the artifact. So, for Aldale, she is at the Bradshaw Monument. If you've forgotten where that is, it's where Fogarty the Goldsmith and Jimmy the Knife were talking to each other early on. So I got that. I wonder if things have cleared out over in the Pagan territory at all. Ah, uh, yes. It seems there have been some murders here. Got our two broad heads off of that bench. Let's head up here. Get the goblet, the silver knife, the three broad heads, and the ruby. Come on, Garrett. I didn't want the bowl. But there's no one around to hear it, so it's not, not that big a deal. Since nobody's here, I can head into this tunnel. Actually, it may be possible for the statues to lose fights, now that I think about it. Because before the Glyph of Unbinding, if we hit them with a bunch of fire arrows, we could blow them up. So, uh, priests and shamans might be able to take care of them, now that I think about it. Get the copper coin by the window. Larkspur's gone, but we can still get his copper bowl worth a hundred. I'm gonna just, for the sake of having it as cash, I'm gonna make a point of fencing all the loot at the very end after I've collected everything. So we got pagans over there. Let's get out of their territory the other direction. Goodsy day, friend. Oh yeah, there's one more thing to get in here before I forget. We've got to get the moss arrow from the ground over here. Where is it? There it is. Oh, she doesn't care that we're in here. How about that? Who is bolty enough to steal my wand? I guess everybody's a friend now, except for Gamal. How do you like that? Everyone likes us. Okay, I think the water level is still down. So let's get into the canal. Oh, nope, the water level's up. No matter, let's head back this direction. Now the pagan territory is well and truly clear. So... There he is! <clears throat> he seems to be walking a very slow patrol, but... 
I'd wager it probably matches the route that the city watchman used to walk, so I can just watch for him to turn around and then follow him back into the tunnel. Oh no, he's coming out here. Well, good. That'll be... That should be even easier if I can slide in behind him. Okay. Now we'll follow him. I wondered why things kept getting quiet. Orland's blood is acting like a moss arrow and silencing his footsteps. Well, let's get to this niche over on the left. Oh wait, I need to get the broadhead off this barrel before I forget. And now... Let's let him walk down to Orland again. That'll be easy enough. Oh, straight around that time. No matter, now we can go to that niche. Because now he is matching the City Watchman's old patrol route. Let's move out behind him. Wait for the vines to disappear. Okay. So that means, of course, that even though we have the amulet and the vines are gone, we can't lower the water again, which means we cannot go back to Gamal's lair. Interesting, but fine with me. There's Gamal. I wonder if I can get the water arrow from up here. Nope. Let's at least break into the goldsmiths. As we've done so many times before. And by so many, I mean two. So, you know, you only start accessing Aldale on day seven. Uh, let's just move on in here and see what we can find. Of course, with the pagans friendly to us, and with Gamal blocking the way we usually take, we might actually want to go back and head through the pagan park again. See, there was nothing in there yesterday. I'd wager there's nothing today. The only respawning loot was on the counter. And there's nothing. How do you like that? Okay. Nothing in the goldsmiths, but the pagans still had all their loot. I mean, it would sort of make sense if there was nothing to steal on the last day, but... I wonder why some is respawning and some isn't. Oh well. No big deal. Let's get back over the water again. I feel so nostalgic. These are our last visits to all these places. I mean... Yeah, Gamal is standing there and she does not appear to be moving. And she'll definitely see me if I try to move through that. Oh, nope. There she goes. She's moving. Let's zip through here right quick. Up here in front of Fogarty's. We've got the usual fire arrow and the torch. And over on this pillar, we've got the broadhead arrow. Let's drop down now. I think that...
given the general lack of city watchmen. What's that? Uh, just some random purse. Anyway, we can get up to the Bradshaw Monument undetected since she's facing that way. The Bradshaw Monument in memory of Sir Bradshaw S. Aldale, District Founder. So I want the broadhead off the railing, of course. And then... Right there. One down, four to go. I have placed the heart. <laughs> oh, this poor woman is dead. <gasps> Good heavens! <laughs> you trouble me no longer. So we've completed the objective, place the heart on the Bradshaw Monument in the Aldale Plaza. Pretty straightforward. Now, what I'm more curious about than Gamal is the statue I saw at the bottom of these stairs. Is he stationary, or does he move? He appears to be stationary, so... I am going to have to loop around and go through the Pagan territory to get out of the district. So, let's do it. <clears throat> Mantle up here. Just go all the way back the way we came. Have to wait for Gamal to make another little loop down. For the curious, Gamal is fully invulnerable to virtually all of our weapons. There's one that they must have thought wasn't a danger to her that they overlooked, and funnily enough, that is the oil flask. Gamal will slip and fall on the oil like anything else. In four of the five districts, this doesn't... Some unfortunate soul got murdered just then. But... It would take a lot of firepower for something to beat the statues. And nothing can beat Gamal. Anyway, like I was saying, doesn't really matter in Aldale. Doesn't really matter in Old Quarter. Doesn't matter in South Quarter. And it doesn't matter in Stone Market. But in the docks, if you throw an oil flask down and you can get Gamal to slip into the deep water, the deep water will kill her. For all of her incredible powers, just like Garrett, she can't swim. Which is ridiculous and hilarious to me, but it is what it is. Seems the factions have forgiven us all of our crimes with the arrival of Gamal, which is good. Great. Now, what about this guard? Oh, he's still there. Still going strong, our faithful watchman. And I bet that even though the pagans get along with me now, I would wager the city watch does not. So let's get out of here the way we always have. I guess I should check and see if the City Watch has forgiven me like the other factions have. It's worth checking. Let's see. Aha! Nope. He's in the streets, he is! 
Even with a giant fireball factory and an army of murderous statues rampaging, the City Watch have not forgotten a petty thief. I find that hilarious. Well, let's drop by the fence. You know, I have a tailor friend. 7,900 gold. I only mention it. He took all of our artwork and metal. Don't worry, I'll, I'll make sure to do a full offload at the end. So let's get out the exact same way we always have. Let's roll over here. Get around the corner. Crawl under the window. And drop down on this side of the torch. Just out of visual range of the watchman. Now let's not forget the oil flask in the cart. Hey, it didn't move this time. How do you like that? I wonder if I can get to her wand. I doubt it, but it's possible. Aha! That ain't you, okay. Might work if I use her as hardcover to keep the guard from spotting me, which, thankfully, we can still do. Let's try that. Too many buildings. Oops. Uh -oh. I figured she wouldn't care about the noise, but I still forgot about the Watchman. And as I look at him, I realize I've been missing something the entire game. Thankfully, it's not a piece of loot, or I'd have to revoke my claims of perfect thief. But there's a broadhead uh -oh. sticking <laughs> in the wall next to him. Around? And I'd wager it's been there every day. I only just saw it. So let's see if it's possible to get it or not. It's not a big deal to me if it's not loot, but I'd still like to get it if I can. Turns out I can. Too many things. Uh oh. Not enough well, if it's an arrow, then it's probably been there every day. They usually are. So, in day seven and day eight, I missed a broadhead arrow. Right here behind this guy. And I bet I can make things easier on Too myself. Many buildings, <laughs> not enough treesies, not woodsy. Not woodsy oh. at all. I almost wish there was a statue over here to murder him and get him out of my way. Almost. As you can see, day nine isn't nearly as bad as the enforcers were. I wonder if there's a pivot with him that I just haven't noticed. Not Not of course, ideally, I would refrain from bumping into things like that. I'm certain this is doable, though. Maybe if we just mantle onto the barrel. <laughs> we can avoid bumping it. What the bloody? Uh, or so What's I thought. Garrett's refusal to silently step down from the crate in the barrel is fascinating to me. Who would have thought that the drunken watchman outside the pub would be more of a problem for me than <coughs> any of Gamal's minions? Ah. Oh, come oh, on! He only nailed me that time because it chose that moment to play that little coughing animation.
This continues to seem like the smartest play. Okay, we got the arrow. Too many buildings. Can we not get out? Treesies. Not woodsy. Not woodsy at all. Not if he jumps. Why can't the idiot just mantle? It seems so easy to me. Just get on the barrel. Don't jump and land on the street. Ay, ay, ay. There he He's does it again. Up. Unbelievable. Let's try this yet again. There we go, that's more like it. There we go, alright. So you can get that broadhead, I just missed it in day 7 and day 8 because I never saw it. So, on our way out. Two broadheads on this crate as usual. Up on this rooftop there's a gas arrow. Just climb all the way down now. That statue is probably still standing there, staring up the stairs toward Aldale Plaza, which is a fine place for him to be. Fire arrow in the torch. There's some poor woman he murdered. Here's the crime report from day eight. City Watch Crime Report, District of Aldale. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Aldale. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Zero items of valuable property were reported stolen. Twelve locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority. Signed, the Office of the Commissioner. That's our last Aldale crime report. And as soon as I get the gas arrow up here, we will have cleared Aldale for the last time. There it is. All done. Wave goodbye to Aldale. We're never coming back. The game's gonna end. So just climb down the same way we climbed up. Crawl behind the statue, and let's roll into Old Quarter. See you there. Bye bye, Aldale. We hardly knew ye. We'll get progressively more and more familiar with the areas, I think. You only get to go to Aldale three times day seven, day eight, and day nine. Old Quarter's only marginally more familiar because we were also here on day six. So, very little going on here. I note with some satisfaction that that watchman is gone. There's a statue here, so I'll just creep in behind him. Check out Hawkner's house since we're here. Oh. See, the spells can hurt the statues. They're the only things that can. I peace hate monsters. So, 
City Watch Crime Report, District of Old Quarter. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Old Quarter. Zero citizens were murdered, zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head, zero items of valuable property were reported stolen, three locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch Authority, signed to the office of the Commissioner. Well, let's head into Hawkner's. There's no wine bottle. All we have are his two broadheads. Next. Let's check the fences. Hey, look here! This loot did come back on day nine, even though it wasn't there on day eight. Of course, we've got the usual gas arrow in the overhang. Let's check the docks gate and the pagan's little hidey hole. There's only ever been loot in the pagan hidey hole. Let's look down there right quick. Nothing. All right. Let's get the fire arrow out of the fence's actual house. Wow. He must have won the fight with the statue. He's gonzi! My wand! Nice job, Brosef. Alright, let's get in here. Gamal is nowhere to be found out here. The artifact placement point is actually inside Fort Ironwood. So she's in the Fort Ironwood graveyard. So, I got the fire arrow out of the fireplace. Awesome. Let's see if I can just get through here and make things easy. What's up, bro? Uh, hey! We are beset! Okay, I thought he was attacking me, but no. See, the, the Hammers and the Pagans can't put aside their hatred for each other, even if they can set aside their disdain for me. Let's see what's in here. If anything, nothing, nothing, huh, there's been loot in here every day so far. Nothing, okay, well that makes things simple doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know why I've been messing with their wands. I'll stop. That j means all we have to worry about then is the gas arrow up here, which I'll get presently. Uh-oh. Ah! Assuming Garrett can jump, of course. Let's try that again. Guards, guards, hurry. Are you all right? All right, we got that gas arrow. Let's head over to Fort Ironwood. Pagans didn't care that I was in their territory in Aldale, but I'm, I'm not certain that means the Hammerites don't care that I'm in here. Okay, get that moss arrow. An old quarter is clear, so let's head into Fort Ironwood. 
Well, they don't care that I'm here. So I can use... Blasphemer! Oh! Can oh. Anyone... They do care, it's just that the street never counted as faction territory. I didn't know that. Alright. Well, that is good to know. So, I'll head in through the second floor, like I have in the past. good excuse for this interruption. Okay, well, I need to be quiet. I just desperately want to be able to get lazy. Which is a silly thing to want, but... Alright, once, once more... Maybe I should just go in through the graveyard. No, that might put me right in front of Gamal. I'd rather be able to watch her and move in when I want to. I don't actually know what her layout is in there, but I know I can be quiet up here, so I'll just make sure I stay silent. Garrett, you've done that quietly a dozen times. Now they're going to alert. Watch. Hey! Yep. If they're alerted to me by sound or by sight, I mean, it, they don't actually show an alert state, obviously, but they'll uh, suddenly will show an alert state as soon as I cross into their territory where they don't want me, so... Let's be gradual again this time. There we go, no noise. That's what we like. Hey, dost thou know who I am? Do not trifle with me. Hello? Did he see me? Continue thy searchings. The hiding places are many. He must be seeing me somehow. Which is weird, because no one's ever been able to see me on the upper levels. Or maybe he just saw me in the street, and his alert level hasn't gone down yet. Could be any of those things. Have yep. They must both be seeing me up on the pipe. This is ridiculous. Alright, well, they don't care if I'm in the street, so maybe I do have to enter through the graveyard after all. Never opened that door glyph before. Just goes to the keeper compound. <laughs> so let's take the graveyard entrance, I guess. Oh, thank goodness, no one alerted that time. All right, here we are in Fort Ironwood. We're starting in the graveyard. It's my hope that we won't spawn right in front of Gamal or one of her statues. Seems that we don't, thank goodness. Did they cry, your quasi-brethren? Did they scream, do not do this thing, it will destroy us all? I suppose that's what they must believe, and I suppose they are right. Did they cry? 
That was the eye talking to us. It does that. So we've still got the... Make it mine. Mine. Yes, mine. And I am here. And they are gone. The water arrow that's always been there. Sounds like she's got at least one statue out here as well. So... two of them, but I still have three of these artifacts to position. So we've set the Builder's Chalice on the Cataclysm Memorial, which completes the objective. Place the Chalice on the Cataclysm Memorial in Fort Ironwood. Awesome. The next chance I get, I want to get over here. That's not a chance. 